So I had the chance to fly an airplane. A really new plane. Came out last year, July 2020. It's a Curtis SR-22. Uh, that's all I really know about it. It's uh, the brother of a friend of my dad's. And this is it. So we started, we pulled the plane out, and then we got in. So weight and balance, every airplane, even the big jets, do weight and balance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's all we're doing. It just automates it for us here. So weight and balance is complete. Emergency equipment. So down by your left ankle, there's a fire extinguisher if we need it. Got it. Um, right here, up in here, there's a, a hammer if you need to, like, break out a windshield mm -hmm. to get out if the doors won't open. Mm -hmm. um, Seatbelts, you saw how they operate. You pull this. And open it and release. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Doors, so you can go ahead and shut your door. So all you do is just slam. He showed me all of the instruments and the and the parachute that if you're in a certain level you can pull it down by pulling a thing and it shoots up in a parachute and then you glide back to earth instead of trying to land. Just pull this handle and the entire just airplane. Pull it down. Yeah, it'll come vertical and then you pull it, it takes about thirty pounds, kinda of like a pull up. And it'll um It'll put a parachute over the entire airplane, and you'll come floating down. Onto some woods. Into woods, or but people survive because yeah. it's better than crashing. So, yeah. um, but do me a favor, don't pull it unless I, either I tell you to, or unless um, I'm incapacitated and you have no options. Yeah. Um, so the rule of thumb is if we get turned topsy-turvy or whatever, which won't happen, but if we did, the first thing you'd want to do is push the blue level button because the autopilot will engage and it'll get it right side up uh -huh. it'll just maintain whatever altitude you're at so it's kind of like push the blue pull the red those are your um two emergency thought, two, two thought processes mm -hmm. and if after you pull the or before you pull the red you can remember to take this mixture which is typically up here and just put it there Got just it. jam all the stuff back before you pull everything that, down and then pull blue, it. and then that and if that yeah that, that would pray. be great <laughs> and then pray yeah it there's been a lot of good saves yep. so it works um, this system, by the way, is available 600 feet AGL. So anything above 600. Yep. And um, so when this says 800, because we're at 200 feet, so you got to add 600 to that. So when this uh -huh. says 800 or above, this is available. Okay. And you'll hear me call it out on our climb out. And then um, up to 2,000 feet AGL, so 2,200. In that span on takeoff today, we'll pull it immediately. If we lose an engine, we're just going to pull it. Well, we only have one engine. Exactly, that's what you're like. <laughs> So, um, but you have to be between 800 and 2200 mm -hmm. on this display. Um, if we're below that, we're going to look for a place to land. And, and if we're you're trying higher? to get it restarted. And if you're higher, you have time. So if you're higher, you, you, use some, you use that time to troubleshoot. But when you reach around 2000 feet AGL, you're going to pull it. Okay. If, if we don't have an engine. All right, Which and it's super in this, unlikely. In this case, if I'm like incapacitated. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, engine start. So brakes we've already set. Mm -hmm. Batteries one and two are on. So strobe light, you can turn that on. Um, mixture full rich. Power lever full rich. Fuel pump we're gonna prime. So we're looking for 15 up here. There we go. Then pump some fuel into the engine. Bring this back to idle. Oh, this one actually has the key. They have keys, yep. And then, there's no one here, but clear prop. Should always do that. And then to start. So we taxied, and then we took off. Whenever you first take off and you're not used to it, it feels like you're gonna fall. It feels like, because literally there's like a few inches between you and certain death. So it takes a second to get used to, but then, but then it gets fun. Like you get used to the feeling and the speed and everything, and then you just fly. And it's not that hard. Flying is simple. Like, it's, the basics are simple, but obviously, you know, a pilot takes thousands of hours, so it's obviously not like driving, where you can just do it really quickly. So we flew around the area for about 30 minutes, and then we came in for a landing.
So I'm editing here and I just want to say thank you to Mr. Greg and the brother of Mr. Greg for giving me this experience and for showing me how all this stuff's work. Thank you and thank you for watching and subscribe if you liked it and have a great day. Peace out.